All right, Shalom, coming back to you with another video. I'm giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahshah, Bashem Rakah Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And salutations unto the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Uh, it's coming back at you with this quick one. And um, I was on a, I was on a Facebook. <laughs> you know. You know, you got social media and stuff, not really to use it, you know, like that. You know, just to see what's the latest and stuff. Like, oftentimes, you know, I'll be out, you know, before you hear something on mainstream media or the news, you know, you're notified about it on Facebook, or Twitter, Instagram, you know, and stuff like that. Anyways, um, you know, I was just scrolling through my phone. And I said, let me, you know, I ain't really been on Facebook in a while, so let me just see. And, um, you know, I've obviously edited uh, this, you know, screenshot, which you can see. And it's funny because, you know, your, your social media keeps a track of the sites you go on. Because um, towards the bottom of the screen, you can see StreamYard. And I use StreamYard, of course, to do my computer lessons. So, you know, they know what they're doing, man. Anyways, this is um, the, I've obviously you know, uh, bl you know, scribbled out the person who posted this, um, and the people that liked it because, you know, I don't really want to put their names out there like that, but um, it's people I know actually, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> you know, Jake man, Christian. The point I'm getting at is Christianity or modern day Christianity. Is uh, the spiritual whip, okay, you know, used to keep Jake in line. Because there was the physical whip, you know. You know, you watch these these slave movies, you know. Jake, man, Jake used to get their ass busted, man. Like, he used to get whipped, man, you know. You step out of line as a man, you're going to get, and there's actually, you know, information on that. When you get into the slavery documentaries, like, men would be whipped in front of their families, you know, belittled and, you know, have their backsides blown out and stuff, you know. So, you ain't strong now, boy, you know, and do that in front of their family and shit, you know. Likewise, women, you know, were, um, were, uh, what do you call it, you know, they were, they were, they were, they, you know, master would come. And grab your woman from, you know, your house at night. Bring it, you know, her back to his place. And um, oftentimes what they would do is uh, uh, whip her. And then, um, you know, after that he would, um, he would, he would ravage her, man, and stuff like that. Your children would be beaten in front of you and sold off and whatnot. So, you know, hence why I even have the term the cracker because, you know, he's the man that cracks the whip. So the whip was when you saw the whip come out, that was very a fearful thing, man. You're gonna see something real horrific that day. But spiritually, man, you know, modern day Christianity or plantation Christianity as a boss to her, um, you know, coined it so well. Excuse me, man, I'm sick. <coughs> but the modern day plantation Christianity is nothing but the spiritual whip to keep Jake or Israelites, I should say, in check on the spiritual plantation or on the quote-unquote woke plantation because if you wake up, man, you're going to be like, the fuck, this is some bullshit. But if you can keep or be kept sedated and under the bullshit, you ain't going to have a problem with the violation that's done to you and your people over and over again. This is why Jake don't have a problem this is why it's so lucky. Edomites don't have a problem with black church. Because black church is a joke. But they got a problem with Israelites though. Because that's something constructive. Furthermore. And ultimately that is the truth. Okay. But I've blotted out their names. But this guy posted this. Bills paid. Food on the table. Gas in the car. And still got your job. Somebody needs to tell God. Thank you. That's a sad mind state to be in, man. I got my bills paid and, you know, 
food on the table now. Yeah, you can, you do thank, I mean, you do thank God, I mean, for that, I mean, you know, the most High comes through and provides and that, you thank him, okay, that's not what I'm getting at, right, but from the, you gotta, you know, backtrack a bit and read this through the mind of a so-called Christian, man, you know, they're, what it is, is they're content with that, man, like, Jake have no problem seeing you know, having children and knowing that their children are going to raise up and rise up one day and pay bills, you know, struggle to get food on the table, but still there's food on the table, you know, have have a car to have gas in or, or you know, uh, you know, they're going to have a job, you know, <laughs> somebody needs to praise him and all of that shit. Like that, that's Jake is happy knowing that their offspring and their children's children will be in this situation. Why? Because they don't see nothing wrong with this. Now, whilst we thank the most side that he provides and he allows us to pay our bills and he gives us food on the table and, you know, a car or whatever, the necessi necessities that we may need, you know, dependent upon every person, okay, you know, <clears throat> this is not what we want, man, okay, you know, we're not meant to pay bills, man. Where is Israel? We're the princes of the power, man. Okay? You know? We're not meant to have a, a job where we're worked so that we can survive. We're meant to have slaves, man. And what this spells is, I do not have a ruling class mentality. Jake does not have a ruling class mentality. That is the problem, man. Alright? So when you, or we go on the highways and the byways and preach man jake will look at you like you you stupid you crazy you done lost your mind you know you better get in line boy why because the spiritual whip of christianity has has, has got their mind in captivity man you know that i gotta praise him because he allowed me to work nigga you ain't meant to work man all right you you, you you're king but jake don't think like that man all right is <coughs> oh boy I can't even type man it's a lot here this is um the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and 14 and it says is Israel a servant is he a home born slave why is he spoiled because you know, we've fallen from what we were, man. You know, the way Jake is now, if you if you look if you could, you know, have an aerial view and look at Jake and then you say, you know these people, right? They're they're kings, they're princes, you know, they're princesses, right? They're the they're the children of the most high. You know, but then you look at them on the nine to five, you look at them trying to aspire to be like Esau, you look at them being coons, you look at them being stupid as fuck, you look at them killing each other. Alright, you look at them, you know, having the absence of a ruling class mentality, you'd be like, that's the sons of God? No, that, it can't be. That's why Jeremiah was considered the question, is Israel a servant? All right, because all he does is work. Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled, man? Because we're not meant to be like this, man. Okay, you know, but then you got Jake, you know, that are happy that they, they pay bills. Happy that they struggle, you know, to get food on the table in just about. Happy that they can put gas in the car to go to work. Ha happy they still got a job, you know, because this is it. And Esau has, you know, conditioned the minds of everybody that, look, man, your highest purpose in life is to go to university and get a job because you can fulfill your career. Not your, but what they don't tell you, your career is makes you a slave to 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 fulfill the purposes and put you know money in and line his pockets man all the way up to the elites man you know but i just came across this there's so many other scriptures i could pull out i just want to pull this what quick one out man otherwise this will be an extremely long video but this is the mindset of jake man jake don't have a ruling class mentality this i just came on facebook and this pissed me off man you know, bills paid, food on the table, gas in the car, and still got your job. Somebody needs to, uh, somebody needs to tell God, thank you. All right, that's some bullshit, man. 
Now we do, you know, thank the Father for providing for us. However, all right, you know, this is not our highest calling. This is not our purpose, man. Like I said, we ain't meant to be paying no goddamn bills. We ain't meant to be in sub, uh, you know, under subjection to Esau. All right, we're not meant to struggle to get food on the table. We're not meant to be working, a, you know, a job as a slave. Okay, we are Israel, man. Princes and princesses of the of the of the of the Most High, man. Okay, so you know, this is why it's gonna take the elect, man. Really, to you know, well, let's get it in order. This is why it's gonna take you how was shy to deliver us. Okay, and uh, the elect to bring back the nation, man. Because right now, you know, two thirds of our people, man, they they're happy being under Esau, and that's not it, man. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, but that ain't it. All right, so we gotta wait for the kingdom, and this is why we do the videos, man. This is why we preach and go on the highways and the byways, man, because you know we're pushing that vibration out there to this, you know, of destruction of this place, so that the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yoshai. Wara Kakadash can be set up, man. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, man. You know, ruling class mentality, man. That's where it's at.